guys, Jessica here with French Farmhouse Flair and today I want to share with you this painting project that I'm going to be doing here. It's this um, cute uh, tea cart that I found at the Habitat thrift store and I've already wiped it down and cleaned it and Mr. Hupster has already fixed the front two feet on here because um, it was a little damaged and broken and that needed to be fixed before we could uh, get started on this project. So using um, two little spindles there, he replaced the damaged ones and um, I'm ready to get started with painting the rest of the legs to match and really didn't want to paint the top um, or the wheels. So I'm hoping that I can just leave that alone as long as it looks all right. When I'm done and, and I like it, we'll see what happens here. But um, the top is not in perfect condition, so later on I may want to um, do something about that, sand it down and fix that. But for now, I'm in kind of a hurry to get this project done because Valentine's will be coming up. And I want to use this little tea cart for um, decorating for my Valentine's in my dining room and also using it probably for a cocoa bar, Valentine cocoa bar area. So um, I'm gonna have so much probably on top that you will not see the bad spots so much and I can maybe even use a little table runner on it as well, but um, we'll see. So, um, so here, I just wanted you to see the before um, and I will show you the after when I'm all done. And uh, so stay tuned guys, thanks. All right, see you in a bit. Bye-bye. Oopsie, I forgot to mention, guys, that um, I am going to be using the Antique White General Finishes paint for this project and just some sponge brushes uh, from the Dollar Tree um, for this project. So I wanted to mention that, and um, we'll go ahead and get started. I did want to leave this. I'm, I'm surprised I'm not painting the whole thing white because usually that's what I would typically do. Um, but I did want this to stay more French country looking and I think I will achieve that by leaving some of the parts just with the natural wood, stained wood um, look to it. So um, let's go ahead and get started on this project guys. Hey guys, I have this uh, dress form that I had in my master bedroom, but um, I'm going to give it a little makeover here. So um, I'm gonna be using it in a different area of my home and just wanna make it a neutral color. Hey guys, a quick little um, Valentine DIY here. I just wanted to share with you um, this quick little uh, project I've got going on here. And I picked this love sign up just yesterday at Kirkland's and it was originally $9.99, marked down to clearance for $3.97 and um, it was 25% off of this uh, clearance price. So I thought this was super cute, Ray right Dunn for Valentine's. And um, I'm, I don't want the hot pink um, color on there, so I thought I'm just going to cover it up with some fabric. And I've already cut this down to my size that I need. I'm gonna just tuck in the end down here and then hot glue it with my um, low temp hot glue gun here and what I'm using is just this red burlap uh, ribbon um, from Walmart so you could pick that up at Walmart and I'm sure any craft store would have 
it as well. And then I also picked this up at Walmart, the red and white checked. So I'm going to go ahead and um, I've cut a piece of the, the wide burlap already and I cut a piece of the um, red and white um, checked ribbon and I'm going to be just hot gluing this one down the middle um, on top of the burlap. And then I want to put something in the middle here. And I was thinking, I picked this up just uh, yesterday too while I was out at, um, got this from Joann's, this little cutout. And I thought that might be kind of cute placed in the center. Um, if you don't have something like this, a little wood cutout, um, this was actually all the Valentine's things was half off at um, Joann's. So this was only $1, half off from the $1.99. And then um, they also had these two little metal cutouts I picked up. I figure I can use these for um, another project. I won't be using it for this project, but um, because I think, yeah, this one would be too big. It would cover up the love. So, but use whatever you have at the, around the house um, or whatever you have. Or um, I had this around the house. Um, so you could use a piece of jewelry or um, I don't even remember where I got this little heart from. But this side says celebrate. But you could always put like a little heart in the middle to dress it up put something in there. I think I think I want to use the little truck though for this. And you could paint the truck, but I think I'm just going to leave it the natural wood. But if you wanted to, you could paint it um, and make it really cute um, as well. But I think um, I think I might just leave it. I'm not sure yet. But um, so let's go ahead and get started with gluing um, the ribbons down. Okay guys, so here's the finished product here. And I'm really happy with how it turned out. I think it looks super cute. And um, I think it'll be really cute in my three-tier tray. That's where I believe I'm gonna put it anyways. So um, stay tuned, watch all the way to the end because I'm going to share my projects um, and where I put everything. So um, sorry about the, the barking in the background. <laughs> all right, guys. Okay, guys, and um, this little sign here, I thought about attaching this heart somewhere. On here not sure if I should do it sideways straight up and down can't make up my mind but I got this one half off at Joann's um, craft store for um, it was originally $6.99 and half off of that I'm going to use this in my three-tier tray and I thought I could just attach this little heart that I already had I've had it for for a long time and you could also use you know a piece of jewelry a charm um, an old pin that you have an old like brooch pin so um, you can just keep that in mind when you're doing little projects like this that the uh, possibilities are endless maybe I'll attach it like that I'm not sure guys oh. So hard to decide. This celebrate side is cute too, but I just want the simple heart without the words. I just gotta get it. Ooh. Kind of fell out of my hands there, but. Yeah, I think that's cute. Okay, 
So that was easy, easy.